What's up everybody? Everybody in Thailand knows about the big gyms such as Tiger Muay Thai, but there's a lot of hidden gems here as well. And this one back behind me is Phuket Power Muay Thai. I'm gonna do a review of this gym today. This could be the first time that I've done a class here. And to be honest, my conditioning is dog shit, so we will see how it goes. Hopefully I can teach you some veteran moves along the way to make it look like you know what you're doing, even if you're in terrible shape. All right. First things first, let's talk location. This is located in Phuket town. You can see the island here. It is right in smack dab in the middle of the city and it's only a few blocks away from old Phuket town, which if you have not been there, that's this awesome place. Lots of great things to see and do. And I actually know about it because it's right next to our favorite coffee shop in town, which is also worth a look. So as you're driving up, you get a look at what the neighborhood looks like. And at first glance, it seems like they have a lot of all the main things you need. They got the little markets, they've got restaurants, they've got massage parlors, they've got places to stay for the night. And um, one of the things that is underrated is they also have a good parking lot. So there's plenty of room to park even if the class is crowded. Some first impressions right off the bat. Looks like a nice facility. You've got a mix of Thais and foreigners. You've got a group of people conditioning together, building camaraderie, and the trainers look like they're having a lot of fun with mixed levels, mixed ages, and all that. It just looks like a good vibe all around here. Here's a quick look at the facilities. Everything is fairly new. They've got good mats, good bags. They've got TRX, agility ladders, battle ropes. They've got a sweet ring. Um, overall, nice place, plenty of room to move around. Let me give you an idea of how the classes are structured. The classes are one hour in length. There's a real heavy focus on fitness and conditioning. It seems like people are there for the most part to get a good hard workout. Now there is some technique focus in the beginning of the class. They do this kind of shadow style, just moving in place and also on the bags as well. And then from there they have different stations and they work circuits where you're switching between bag work, pad work, um, jump rope, and then general conditioning of your choice. I chose to do battle ropes, squats, sit-ups, that sort of thing. Now I would say this gym is good for all levels. The class I was in had a lot of beginner level students that were just sort of learning the ropes for the first time, but I talked to the owner and some of the trainers and they do have some active fighters. The trainers are active fighters as well and they also have foreigners that fight occasionally as well. Here you'll see they start the class off teaching the bread and butter techniques, the punches, elbows, knees, kicks, that sort of thing that you're most likely to use and you can never practice this stuff too much, plus it's great to learn as a beginner.
All right, I want to talk about pad holding. Pad holding can make or break a session depending on how good your pad holder is. First off, it's hard to judge a pad holder on just one session because it takes a little bit of time for the trainer and the fighter to sync up and get to know each other a little bit for things to flow properly. But you can tell from the little things, such as the distance management, the rhythm, the angles, the type of fight intensity that they bring to the pad holding session, whether or not they're an active fighter or if they're just there to give you a workout. So in my experience with this uh, pad holder that I spent the most time with, you could tell that he was an active fighter just by the way he moved and I had a really good experience with him overall. You'll see what I mean. Now this brings me to veteran tip number three for doing pad work when you're out of shape and that's to do everything at your pace. You throw when you want to, you kick when you want to, you move with your own rhythm, don't feel rushed by them putting that pad up as a target. If you go at your own pace, it's gonna come out a lot smoother and they'll end up a lot happier with your technique, plus you'll save some energy. Right, let's talk about some of the best features of Phuket Power Thai Boxing. First off, the pricing is very reasonable. As of 2024, they charge 200 baht for a class and 600 baht for a one hour private session, which is very reasonable. Some gyms charge twice this, if not more. The teachers are both very patient and very fun, and they have fun while they're training, which helps you to have fun, and they're also patient with beginners that are just learning the ropes. They don't put too much pressure on you, which is good if you're the type that's intimidated on your first day. There's also a good mixed group of people. Talk to the owner. He said it's about 50-50 between Thais and foreigners, which gives you a good variety. Plus, there's males, females, all different ages and ethnicities. It's just a good, diverse experience. The location is awesome because it's close to Phuket Town. Phuket Town doesn't have that many Thai boxing gyms in the area, but Phuket Town is awesome, and I liked it probably 10 times more than I expected. I really recommend you check it out. Now, the last thing is that the facility itself is very nice. The pads are nice. The ring is nice. The bags are nice. The equipment is nice. The, everything is nice. Everything's in great shape. And one of the reasons is because the owner got more or less all new stuff post COVID. And it just worked out that he opened the gym originally. And he said about 10 or 15 days later, COVID hit. So he had the gym collecting dust for a number of years and then had to unfortunately swap everything out at the tail end of COVID, but it seems like things are up and running now and everything is looking great. I tested out all the bags, the new ones and the old ones. They are hard enough that you're going to get some shin conditioning, but they're not so hard that you're going to be all bruised and battered at the end. 
You might still be wondering if this gym is a good fit for you. I would definitely recommend this gym for beginners. It's a great place to learn. The teachers are very patient, and it's not one of those gyms that you're going to get your ass kicked for doing something wrong or for being lazy. They understand that you may not be in the greatest shape, and they're willing to be patient as you get better, which is a nice thing, right? It could also be a good fit if you are intermediate level. Now, uh, the workouts are great, and the pad holders are solid and knowledgeable, so there's still something to be learned even if you already have a pretty good base in Muay Thai. Now, um, you can fight for this gym. This gym doesn't seem to be tailored for fighters specifically, but I've been told that uh, for foreigners that are interested in fighting and they let the trainers know, the trainers will modify the the training to make sure that you're prepared for the ring if you decide to go that route. This would also be a wonderful fit for anyone that is looking for a good workout because you're going to leave with a big smile on your face and a bunch of sweat all over your clothes. Overall, very good experience here. Like the trainers a lot, like the facility a lot, and I suggest you check it out. Thanks to everyone at Phuket Power Thai Boxing for letting me take this video. All right, see you all next time.